So you're interested in thrifting your clothes and starting a more sustainable wardrobe? That's great! But before you head out to the thrift store, let me share with you 10 mistakes to avoid whilst thrifting. Because believe me, I've done them. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I make videos about thrifting, styling secondhand and vintage fashion along with some thrift clips. And like I said, in today's video I'm sharing with you 10 mistakes that you don't want to make whilst thrifting. So with that being said, let's jump straight on into the first mistake to avoid and that is buying something at the thrift store just because the original price was much higher. So this is something that I sometimes do is I see something and I get the feeling that this piece of clothing could be really expensive. So I check it up online and sometimes I realise like, okay this dress cost like 2,000 crowns but now it's only 200 crowns. It must be a good deal. But the thing is, if you're not going to use it or wear it or it's not a garment that you specifically like, then there's no point in buying it even though the original price was much higher. Unless, I just want to add, if you are a reseller, so you thrift to resell, then by all means go ahead, check comps and try to get the best deal possible because if the original price was higher you may be able to resell it for more. But if you're just a regular everyday thrifter like myself, then don't buy it just because the original price was higher. The next thing on my list is that don't buy things just because they're pretty but you have no actual use of them. And this is something that has become a big problem in my wardrobe because when I discovered that maxi dresses were the best thing to wear, I started buying a lot of maxi dresses. And many of them are more like suitable for formal occasions and um, I'm not a person who goes to a lot of formal events. So now I have a ton of beautiful maxi dresses hanging in my wardrobe and nowhere to wear them so they have essentially just cost me space in my wardrobe and money. So before you buy something ask yourself does this piece of clothing actually have a purpose in my wardrobe and if it doesn't then you should probably put it back. The next mistake to avoid making whilst thrifting is the mentality of thinking I will thrift flip this and this is something that I definitely do a little bit too often because I see something and then I start to envisioning like how I could alter it so oh this cute top would be really cute if it was cropped this skirt would be really cute if it was shorter perhaps and um, then I buy them and they just end up lying in my two thrift pile for ages so for example I think at the beginning of the year I bought a um, like an oversized shirt and I plan to remake it into a dress for summer and we're halfway into summer and I still haven't done it uh, so yeah if you're planning on thrift flipping something make sure that it's a thrift flip that you actually do the next mistake to avoid whilst thrifting is thinking that I can make this work so if you're trying something on and it doesn't like really fit you in the way that you would like or perhaps it's not really your style but you just keep it telling yourself that I can make this work it's okay and eventually they just end up lying around in your wardrobe because you never actually use it. So for example I thrifted a pair of Levi's jeans and I bought them because they were Levi's in my size. That's the only reason. However they gave me this really like baggy crotch syndrome if you know what I mean when you have a lot of fabric just bunching up around your waist and like crotch area and it didn't look good. I didn't really like I didn't feel good in them, I didn't use them and they were just a waste of money. The next mistake to avoid whilst thrifting is is one that it, it's easily done so I need you to like keep it in the back of your mind and that is to be very thorough when you're checking the clothes to see if they have any flaws or holes, rips, tears, anything that will be an inconvenience to you later on, so something you have to fix or perhaps a detail on the clothes that you just didn't like. So for example I thrifted this mustard sweater and I didn't realise that it had a really ugly pocket at the front and I just never used it because I don't like how it looks. And of course you can also end up buying things that do have holes in them and you come home and you realise that the piece of the clothing that you bought is essentially broken. The next one is actually just really short and simple and that is bring a reusable bag. You never know if you're going to find something, you don't know how much you're going to find. And buying single use bags from the thrift store just isn't sustainable so bring a reusable bag. The next thing that I want you to do whilst you're out thrifting is 
check the material of the items that you are buying because some cheaper materials they will start to like pill really easily and you might be able to just wash the item a couple of times and then it will look ruined and if the materials that are used in clothing is something that you're interested in then I am actually planning on doing an entire video just talking about different materials that we use in our clothes from a more sustainable perspective uh, so that I don't know what I'm doing with my hands uh, but if that is something that you're interested in then make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on that video or any of my other upcoming videos for that matter so make sure that you check the material of the clothes that you are buying the next thrifting mistake to avoid whilst making is when you are buying jeans because I think most people at least for me um, the place that my jeans get worn out the most is like in the crotch area and between your thighs where the fabric always rubs together. So this is a part of the jeans that generally will show a lot of sign and wear. So if the material in that area is very thin then it is quite likely that you very soon will have to start patching it up, um, which you can do but instead I would just check the crotch area of the jeans before you buy them. And also take a shot of water every time I've said crotch in this video because it's starting to get too damn many. <laughs> The next thing to avoid when you are out thrifting is getting hung up on sizes because let me tell you sizes can be a nightmare depending on where you are in the world so for example Asian sizes run small, vintage sizes run small so a medium top at one shop will not be the same size as medium top at somewhere else and also you don't know if something has been hung back at the wrong place in the thrift store if your thrift store is sorted by size obviously so just check everything don't look too much at the sizes, instead make sure that you try them on. And that leads us straight into the next thrifting mistake, and that is not trying the things that you are buying on. Because you never really know how a piece of clothing is going to fit you until you have actually put it on your body. And I know that with the current situation, not all thrift stores have their try, try on fitting rooms, try on rooms um, open. But the thing that you can do to make this a little bit easier is at least to bring a measuring tape and know your measurements and perhaps know the size of your favourite jeans and your favourite top and then that can help you get, get an indication of how well the item is going to fit you but ultimately if there is a fitting room just try the clothes on because you don't want to end up bringing something home that doesn't fit you. Okay so that has been 10 mistakes to avoid whilst thrifting. And if you did enjoy this list then make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and you also hit the subscribe button down below to, so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I would like to know are there any other mistakes that you have made perhaps and you want to share them with others then let me know in the comments down below so we can all help each other out to not make any mistakes while thrifting. So with that being said I will see you in my next video and until then take care of each other and I will see you soon. Bye!